How bad is this? I don't, I don't even know what to think. Should I even post this? Wow, it's literally freezing. But is that a TT? Ooh. When I was trying to figure out what kind of oil to use in this car, when you pop the hood, it says 030, but this car, it has a built motor, and to me, 030 is pretty thin. Why is the manufacturer saying 030? Google search is saying 530. I don't know what to do. I don't want to put in the wrong oil. Anyway, I ended up calling IROS Motorsports because that's where this engine was built before I bought it. And I asked them, hey guys, what do you preference for your oil? Because I have the paperwork, and on the invoice repair order, I did not see see what oil you guys put in. What do you guys use? I told him what I had, but he's like, oh, for sure, we always recommend Mobile One 540 Full Synthetic European Blend. So that was good enough for me. Hang up the phone. That is what I ended up buying. I'm gonna put the link in the description of everything that you're gonna need for this oil change. And if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate the support so much. And if you guys don't know, my name is TJ. I have an 800 horsepower Audi TTRS that I'm currently in right now, as you can see from the start of the video and I also have a Mark 6 GTI with 500 horsepower. I like to mod them both. I like to go fast and have fun. So if that interests you, hang along for the ride, like, subscribe, and I appreciate that so much. And just another update, today I just dropped off my GTI at the transmission shop to get that looked at. I have fourth gear grinding. It seems like the synchros are bad, so we're probably gonna have that end up being rebuilt. Also, I am starting to spin a little bit more than I would like in the TT here with these tires taking a look underneath these tires are getting pretty dang bald my game plan was to order wheels for the car and summer tires here in the next couple months but i think that's going to come a little bit sooner than i would like I never thought 800 horsepower would be so dramatic, but it really is. Got to the warehouse, just got the drain plug, the little O-ring. This thing cost me $100. No, I'm just kidding. It was like four bucks, so figure why not replace both? Super cheap, definitely gonna be worth it, in my opinion. Before I get started, let's cut to a cinematic shot. There's a water in here. Yes. Good water. All right, enough talking. Let's cut to the chase and let's talk about the tools you're gonna need for this. Number one, the oil. Got a new drain plug and the crush washer. A 74 millimeter 14 flute oil filter wrench. We got our 3 ace ratchet. We got a T25 Torx and a T45. Jack stands, jack knee pad, drain pan, and a bunch of towels. All right, so first things first, we are going to pop the hood. What a beauty. All right, it's a little bit tricky to jack these cars up. It's probably best, and what I think I'm gonna do is buy some wood, make a ramp so that I could just drive on and don't have to worry about having to jack it up. So many different jack points just to get it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I did. On this side, use the jack point here, jack that up first, and then that'll lift this side up enough to put a jack stand under there. This side, I actually went in here so under the car on the driver's side right where my finger is there is a subframe part of the subframe and you put the jack 
right on that area and you jack the car up and then that'll give you enough clearance to put this one under and you can get it a little bit higher and then you can also hit this side again on that on that subframe raise it up a little bit that'll give you enough room to get under okay so that's the front of the car as we move towards the back from underneath we got two clips one on the same on the other side and we got five t45 clips holding on this skid plate in the back and then the rest going all the way around are going to be t20 okay trying to show you the absolute best that i can from under the car but you have 10 of these t25 bolts going all the way around the underside four on this side which be one in the middle and then another four on this side going down so we already got the five T45s out and then the two clips. So once I get these 10 out, they should be able to just pull right down. So I got the five out on the driver's side so far. As you can see, the shield is just falling off. So that's going to be pretty easy for removal. And But they just hit the other side. All right, so we just got the protection plate off of the bottom completely. I just was like looking around to see anything's going on. My car's consuming a little bit of oil, maybe a little bit more than normal. So I was just looking around. I don't know if this was the reason or not, but definitely a little cap on the oil filter was off. Let me let me just show you exactly how it was. Like I literally just took this off and this is, this is what I see. There's the oil filter and that little twist cap that's supposed to be on there. It's right here dangling and it's pretty... Pretty wet. Looks, I don't know what's going on. Like there's not like drippage of any kind, but I don't know why that's off. I mean, that obviously can't be good. I'm gonna clean that off real quick and then I'm gonna take off the drain plug and then we'll start draining the oil. All right, so I got that cleaned off kind of the best that I could. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna tuck it probably right there. That's good. Okay, and I did see somebody do this trick here without having a hose adapter. I'll put the link of the hose that you should use that you can actually just screw right into the threads there and then a tube will drain into the drain pan because of this hose kind of is in the way. But I saw somebody on YouTube just push this up. We're gonna try it right now and see if it works. All right, so that legitimately took me like five tries to get that. If you can see kind of where that circle is, if you could see the circle, the orange is on the left side, you have to push it up and to the left. And I was like kind of pushing it to the right and it wouldn't stay, but once you push to the left, it locks and then it will drain out. And then obviously to get that back, we're gonna push it up and then to the right and it should pop right back down. I'd actually barely even dripped onto this, maybe just a couple drops onto that hose. Um, but we are gonna push this back. Just like that, pops back into place. For this part, I'm gonna use the extension with this ratchet, the longest extension I have. And then we're gonna be using the oil filter wrench, lock that on, get that off. And then we're gonna be changing the filter inside of that which there is a little gasket in there too that you want to take off and replace that should come with your oil filter okay i'm gonna be dead honest with you i know none of you are gonna believe me right now but i swear when i took the oil filter housing off there is no oil filter that is literally how i just took it off where's the oil filter there was no filter even in here i'm just confused i mean what the heck is going on why would there not be an oil filter? And what what kind of damage could this have done? How bad is this? I don't I don't even know what to think. Should I even post this? I'm just I'm dumb I'm sorry, I'm just dumbfounded. I do not understand. Like it was just the housing. No filter? I mean I just don't know what to think. It makes me question a lot. The car runs strong, it runs great, but why was there a new oil filter? Anyway, we're gonna put one on. The rubber gasket right here, we're gonna take that out, we're gonna replace that. Look at this, guys. It's not that hard. For those of you who think I'm joking, I'm literally not, like, and I obviously checked in the other part in the car if it was stuck. It's not there. You can't make this up. 800 horsepower car was running 0 30 oil and no oil filter, like. All right, we got the oil filter in, we got the housing in, and it is torqued down. If anyone's wondering, it's 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. That's going to be the same exact for the, um, the drain plug. And then we're going to put this cap on. That cap. Don't forget to put this back on because obviously... Wasn't put on before, can't do that with one hand. Then we're gonna get to the oil. Yeah, we topped that off. Black. Okay. 
Sorry guys, the lighting in here is absolutely terrible, but I just topped off the oil, ran the vehicle for a few minutes to let it cycle through the oil filter. Took about eight quarts of oil and it is at the full line. I'm gonna hop in the vehicle now and I'm gonna show you how to reset the uh, service interval from the display. All right, first thing, you're just gonna hit the menu button. It's gonna take you to this page and you have all these options. You are gonna just hit vehicle, click it. You have service intervals. There, reset oil change interval. Yes. That's it. That's all you gotta do. All right, so that concludes for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.